Okay, we're back for parts C, D, and E. I've uh, copied them over here along with the, the explanatory text. Uh, I don't know if this is of a size to be readable for you, but if not, just you know, uh, print it out and look at your paper or look back at the original for reference. So, part C, the students change the force, uh, the force used to launch this, uh, this guy, okay? So this force here, going that way, uh, they change it so it can be described as a function of position f of x equals 12x. That's right here if you can read it. Okay, that that 12 um, is is like nails on a chalkboard to me. Okay, uh, that's that's just uh, that's that's just looking at it is making my blood boil. Okay, because it's dimensionally incorrect. Okay, uh, x would have units of distance, and so 12x would have units of distance, and that's not units of force. Okay. So um, I'm going to write it as just just because it's going to um, seriously uh, give me uh, you know a, a, some kind of stress injury if I don't. I'm going to write f(x) equals b(x) okay, where b equals quote 12 unquote okay, and uh, so think of these quotation marks as sarcastic quotation marks okay. Um, sarcastic, okay, just because I, I can't stand the idea that you would ever think um, that's valid, and uh, shame on you AP graders. I know, I know you're dealing with coronavirus, but you know better than that. Bad AP graders. Lose points for a dimensionally incorrect statement. Okay, so anyway, i explain how students could use the equation given to find the launch speed of the dart if the length of the tube is two meters. So I'm going to say L equals two meters. And see, that's correct. That's fine to say the length of the tube is two meters because you're giving me a freaking unit. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, so um, again, what you what you do is you say is you you have force and length. So and force, especially when force is given in, in terms of position, like it is with this X here, you should be thinking work. Okay. So remember D work. If we want to go all the way back to the beginning, you can say d work equals f dotted with dr. Okay. In this case, dr would point along what we'll call the x-axis. Okay. Um, they don't actually say what x is here, although you assume it's x is along the length of the tube, and presumably you're starting from zero, right? Although they don't necessarily tell you that, but let's let's assume that's it. Okay. So what you get is in this case, dw is equal to f dx which is going to be bx dx, okay? So then the work is the change in kinetic energy, work kinetic energy theorem, okay? So if there's no potential energy to deal with, um, you can just take the work done by this force and plug it straight in as the kinetic energy change. So delta K is the work done, which is going to be integral, if you want to be really formal, d work, which is going to be the integral of bx dx, and you're going from x equals zero to L, okay? So um, then what you get is one half bx squared, evaluate the limits of zero and L, okay? And so you get uh, k equals one half bl squared, okay? Come up here and you get one half mv squared equals k, so this is uh, k initial, I'll just say k not equals zero, okay, to sort of give an explanatory thing. That's how I'm changing delta k into just plain k, okay. Uh, k is one half bl squared, so one half mv squared is k, which is one half bl squared. So then what you get is, uh, you can cancel the one halves, and you get v equals square root bl squared over m, okay. So, uh, there you go, okay? Or, you know, using their way, I'll just write it their way, v equals square root, I hate this, 12l squared over m. Okay, now, they wanted you to explain it. To me, doing this is easier than explaining, okay? Because it's just a straight through thing. Uh, but I guess if you want to explain it, okay, uh, you know, you can say uh, integrate integrate f dx 
over the length of the tube. And if you want to put an explanatory note in, you could say IE um, x equals 0 to x equals L, okay, to find uh, work done, which is final KE of the dart, then uh, you know, K equals one half MV squared, solve for V. Okay. Um, but I mean, that's what I just did. So I, you know, I, I guess this is what bothers me about this. Uh, so this to me looks like an answer, but uh, I guess maybe they want this again. I don't know. Um, it feels to me like if you actually do the math or do, or do the, the physics, this is doing the physics, and this explains it to me. And I think, and the AP graders are not dumb. They're, they're smart enough to understand what you're doing and say, okay, so that's what it is. Um, but anyway, I'd say that's the answer to C. Or you could say what we just did here, I think is a valid answer for C, okay? Um, predict what will happen to the launch velocity of the dart if the length of the tube is doubled. Okay, well, um, so what we have, this is for part D now, okay? We have uh, B equals square root B times, I'll just say 2L, okay, squared over M. So all I'm doing is taking this equation here, plugging in the 2L, and what you do is while well, the two gets squared, but then it goes through the square root, so it's going to be 2 square root b l squared over m um, equals, maybe you want to, you know, maybe I'll call this like v1 here, the doubled doubled length launch speed equals 2 times v0, okay? So uh, you're supposed to justify your answer. To me, this is a justification, okay? Um, so double l gets you double v. Okay. Uh, again, I, I think that's I think that's a justified answer right there. Um, if you've done that, and and you guys all should be able to do that. That's that's not that's not hard. Um, so then, part E: Students are given an equation for the launch launch velocity of the block as follows. And oh, look! Guess what? Their equation. Okay, I'm going to do it in red. Is that okay? Well, that's what it says right down there. Without algebraic manipulation of equations, explain whether this equation accurately matches your explanation in part D. Well, sure it does, because, uh, you know, uh, what, what am I supposed to say to that? So um, I'm going to erase, just to make some space, I'm going to erase this, this uh, part C stuff, even though it was perfectly valid, okay, since we have another answer for part C up. So... Uh, do, 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 do. So for part, uh, what am I on now? E. Okay. Without algebraic manipulation of equations, well, um, I mean technically, I can say I derived that earlier. So now I'm not algebraic manip algebraically manipulating equations to say it's freaking the same. Okay. Um, but I guess if you wanna if you wanna point to this, you could say, okay, well, uh, this. Uh, equation shows that uh, V depends linearly on L, okay, uh, as shown in part D. Okay, um, or part, I should say lowercase d, whatever. The only other thing I can think of, and, and I hate questions where I'm sitting there trying to figure out what they want. Um, you know, I have every confidence that you guys can do this problem correctly and understand it. Um, I, I hate the idea that you're going to be sitting there 
staring at these questions, thinking, what do they mean? Okay, so, um, and see, now reading this for Part E, it seems obvious, you know, and so I'm wondering if there was a different explanation for Part D that should have made sense, maybe for Part D, um, no, I don't know. For Part D, you could say that a longer tube gives you more speed when you come out, but that's that's not enough to show linearity, right? I don't know. I I don't see a way to explain this uh, without actually going and explaining literally all the math. I mean, you can always get down to the point where your text explanation says things like integral of b dx, or the integral of bx dx is one half bx squared. And when you evaluate that at the limits of x equals zero and x equals l, you get one half bl squared. But that's just like that's just like writing the equations and putting words around them, um, unnecessary words around them. So I, I don't know um, what they mean by doing it without algebraic manipulation of equations. I would hope they would give you credit for this answer. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I can't offer something more, uh, more compelling than that. Uh, if, if I come up with something or somebody suggests something or if I find out different from them, I'll post another video in this, this little series to explain that, okay? Uh, but for now, I'm going to have to leave it at that. So there you go. I'll move on to problem two. So let's see. Uh...